Hey guys, Philip Long here, CEO of Business Information Solutions, and I want to address something that I'm seeing happening uh, on social media platforms, specifically Facebook. And what's going on is everyone is getting messages saying that violations are detected on your page. So I wanted to kind of outline how this Facebook, what they're calling uh, this violations detected on your page scam and how it works. First, what you're going to get is this inciting message. It's going to be something like immediately you have to address, like a call to action. Like most of the times, it's trying to uh, present something that's urgency. But so you're not really thinking, you're acting first. Next, there's going to be really a deceptive link that's going to be in there that's going to take you not to Facebook's actual page, but to another page. And it's to ultimately get you to uh, a fake confirmation page where they're going to uh, steal your credentials. They're going to and ultimately take over your account and they're going to somehow put a bunch of stuff out there to advertise bad stuff, to embarrass you uh, and to ultimately make you pay them for your credentials back. And it, after that account compromise, it's going to be very difficult on the account recovery. You're going to have to, you know, basically fight with Facebook in order to prove that it is indeed your account. And a lot of time goes by if you don't have the proper backups on your account uh, to do a recovery. Uh, it's going to take even longer. And a lot of times, you know, of course, that's why they're doing this. It actually works. So let's look at some red flags. There's five red flags I'd like you to look at. Uh, whenever you see someone hit your inbox with a uh, violation detected on your page. The first is going to be some sort of generic greeting often, not always, but often it's going to be like, dear client, you know, something that is not specific to your name and, you know, even to your account. And then there's going to be those suspicious links. Hover over them. See if they're taking you to Facebook. They are not. They're taking you to some support type page. You'll have that as the, uh, the URL or the domain name. And then ultimately, you'll often see some typos in poor grammar. I'm not sure where this is coming from. I haven't spent enough time to really see uh, who the mastermind is, but we're seeing a lot of poor English and poor grammar. So it's likely not coming from the States. It's coming from abroad. And then ultimately, there's going to be some illogical threats that if you have just a moment to kind of think through, look, Facebook ain't going to ask me for that. It's not going to, you know, blow up my account and keep it where I never can get it back or whatever kind of illogical threat that they're going to make on you. And then finally, there's going to be uh, a request for sensitive information, something, the credit card, the username and password to your account, account or something so they can help you. And ultimately, from start to finish, they want to steal your credentials. They want to take over your account so that they can either use it to further their you know, malicious activity or second, uh, get you to pay them money in order to uh, give you back your credentials, which often these guys actually, from what I'm seeing, they won't hardly give you back your uh, credentials, even if you give them money. So be on the lookout. Uh, look out for those messages in your uh, in your social media, Facebook inbox. And uh, this is absolutely a scam. Don't get taken. If you'd like to find out more information about how to protect yourself from these types of threats, you can get on my calendar. I'd be happy to have a conversation and help out.